All right, hello guys, and welcome back to Ian Explains, YouTube channel that needs no explanation. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set tabs and how to clear tabs and use tabs on this typewriter. It's, this is the Royal 890. And you can see right there, the Royal 890 typewriter from a uh, mid to late 60s. And uh, yeah, you can see it. There are two buttons here and here. This one says column clear. This one says magic column set. And there's a third button right here that says column. Now, many of you may have heard of tabs on say a computer keyboard, which you use to move a couple spaces ahead if you're starting a paragraph. Or maybe if you're more into typewriters, you've heard of tabs. Tabs and tabulator bars and tabulator keys and all that, where you could set tabs and by pressing the tab key, it would send the carriage to that location. And the column does the same thing, just a different name. So I have here a little like kind of sign sheet kind of thing I typed up where it has a section labeled name, a section labeled date, and a section labeled reason for visit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set tabs so that I can easily get to those places without spacing around. So, First of all, I don't need to set a tab here because this is the first area. There's no need to set a tab. Literally, I just have to like do a character turn. So let's just uh, type in name. Hmm, bit messy. Now let's go to the date section. So you can see we have this, the little guide thing right here. Hold on. Yeah. Set to the place where I want to set the tab. So now, on at least this typewriter, all I have to do is press this button, Magic Column Set. You may have heard there's a little mechanical click there. This button's a little out of alignment. And you can see, if I go back a little ways and I press Column, it'll send me straight to that spot. So let's just uh, type in the date quick. And you can see we have that date typed in. Let's go to the next one, reason for visit. And you can see, again, we're going to press magic column set. A little mechanical click. And if we move back a little ways, you can see moves right to it. So just type in something here. Second. So you can hear hit the bell went off, which means it's the end of the line. So I go back. Oh no, I went a little too far. I can press column again. There we go, right back to where I need to be. Sorry if the typing is a bit loud. The desk's not exactly good at absorbing sound. And it's a, it's a very heavy typewriter. It's apparently all metal. So yeah, you can see, pull this up, there's that. So let's say you wanna clear your tabs. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear my tabs. So first thing you wanna go do is you wanna go all the way back to the beginning. You're gonna to wanna to hit column. Now that's actually out. It's actually a tab I wanna keep. Actually, I hit my hand on something. So I'm gonna leave that, hit column again. That brings me to the date column. So now all I do is I press column clear, and now the column is gone. See if I go back a little ways and press column, it jumps to another column I made earlier in the middle of the sheet, which is just you know, so I know where the middle is. Just press that again. You can see it brings us to the reason for visit. Just press that column clear button again. I'm gonna go back a little ways and nothing. You can see if we go back all the way, Nothing there. So let's um, just set these columns again. Uh, 
and let's see how fast we can type this out with the help of our columns. Alright, three, two, one, go. See if I bring this a little bit closer to the camera. You can see there's all our nice, neat, nice, neat typed rows. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.